hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video so it's been almost three days that ios 17.3 rc update is out i did couple of videos about this in this in one video i talk about what is new with the ios 17.3 rc update go check that video on my channel in my another video i did a real world test of battery life running ios 17.3 rc update go on my channel and check that video too well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the battery life using iOS 17.3 RC update for three days now. So let's talk about how is the battery life, how is everything going with the iOS 17.3 RC update. Definitely, I'm going to show you battery stats. So watch the video till the end for the conclusion of the video. And I will also talk about that should you update to the iOS 17.3 RC or not. Now let's begin with the very first and the most important thing is battery stats. For that purpose, I have to go to the settings. Now going to the settings, here is the battery option, which will allow me to see the battery stats. So going into battery, let the stats load last 10 days. So Thursday was the first day when I was using iOS 17.3 RC update. So choosing Thursday over here, as you can see, I used around 80% of my battery life and screen on time is 9 or 3 minutes. Now, this is not the actual uh, screen on time. Over here, if I go to in the settings, as you can see, 2 hours taken on settings. So, I will minus those 2 hours because those 2 hours was on 17.2.1. Uh, so, I will minus those 2 hours. So, on 80%, I got a 7 hours screen on time which is quite decent. Now moving to the next day, which is uh, Friday over here. As you can see, again, I used around 80% of my battery life and I got seven hours and 28 minutes screen on time. Now Instagram was one of the most used application, three hours, 30 minutes almost. Then X, I also used a little bit, Snapchat and so on. Now, Instagram consumes a lot of battery, so I can say this is a really good, decent battery life. Now, moving to the another day, which is today, basically, I used around almost 50% of my battery life, as you can see, and I got around 4 hours and 30 minutes screen on time using Netflix for 1 hour 34 minutes, using Instagram for 1 hour almost 30 minutes, then on WhatsApp, X, and Snapchat, and YouTube, so on. So concluding this video, I can say it is a decent battery life. Honestly, there is not much difference from the 17.2.1 to the 17.3 RC. Now, when I was doing 17.2.1 videos, people were complaining about the draining, battery draining, overnight draining. So for now, I will test the overnight battery life. I will test the draining for more couple of days and I will come back with another video of the iOS 17.3 RC, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I will let you know that if there is battery draining or not. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, a simple question. Should you update to the iOS 17.3 RC update or no? Apple already told that they are coming with the public update of iOS 17.3 next week. So there is no need to update to the iOS 17.3 RC update if you are using public update. But if you are already on beta, maybe on 17.3 any beta, yes, you can download if you want to. But I will always prefer to get the public update. So wait for the public update that is going to release next week. Well, that's it from this video. I hope you like this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Until that, take care. Peace out.